Leave insert higher level maths 2020 paper one. This is the solution video to question nine. So question nine here is a logs question. Uh, logs an exponential question. Uh, the number of bacteria in early stages of a growth uh, or a growing colony of bacteria can be approximated using the function n of t is equal to 450 e to the power of 0 0.065 t where t is the time measured in hours since the colony started to grow, and n of t is the number of bacteria in the colony at a time t. Find the number of bacteria in the colony after 4.5 hours. Give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So for this, all we need to do is find the n of 4.5. So n of 4.5 is equal to 450e to the power of 0 0.065 times 4.5 and you can pop that into your calculator and you'll get 602.898 which is approximately equal to 603 to the nearest whole number. Part 2 then asks us to find the time in hours that it takes the colony to grow to 790 bacteria. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So what we do for this one is we let the function equal to 790. So 790 is equal to 450 e to the power of 0 0.065 t. So now we have to work and isolate t and solve for t. So uh, divide across by 450 to get 790 over 450. And 450 is equal to e to the power of 0 0.065 t. Uh, now we take the natural log of both sides, so ln or natural log of 790 over 450 is equal to the natural log of e to the power of anything is just the power, so that's equal to 0 0.065t. What I'm going to do then is divide across by 0 0.065 and I'm just going to put t on the left hand side, so t is equal to the natural log of 790 over 450, all divided by 0 0.065. And you can pop that into your calculator there and you should get 8.658, which is approximately equal to one decimal place, 8.7 hours. On to part B then, using the function n of t is equal to 450e to the power of 0.065t, find the average number of bacteria in the colony during the period from t is equal to 3 to t is equal to 12, and give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So we have a function, the average value of the function, so this is looking at our average value formula from the log tables, which we know is 1 over uh, B minus A, so 12 minus 3 times the integral from 3 to 12 from A to B of our function 450e to the power of 0 0.065t dt. So to integrate this, first of all, I can take the coefficient outside and multiply it by this fraction here. So what I'd get is 450 over 12 minus three is nine. Then I have the integral between three and 12 of e to the power of 0 0.065 t dt. So then that's 450 over nine. If I integrate e to the power of 0 0.065 t, what I get is e to the power of 0 0.065t divided by 0 0.065. And I'm going to evaluate that between 3 and 12. So then what I'll do is 450 over 9 multiplied by this subbing in 12 minus this subbing in 3. So that's e to the power of 0 0.065t, uh, sorry, t is 12 times 12 over 0 0.065 minus e 
to the power of 0 0.065 times 3 over 0 0.065, like that. And we can put that straight into our calculator if you type it in as it is there. You should get that is equal to 400 or 743.2 and we want to correct to the nearest whole number so that's approximately equal to 743. Part C. Find the rate at which the function is changing when t is equal to 12. Give your answer correct to one decimal place and then interpret this value uh, in the context of the question. So if we want to find the rate at which it's changing, we need to differentiate. So we have our function n of t is equal to 450 e to the power of 0 0.065 t. We want to get then the first derivative n prime of t. So when I differentiate this, it's going to be the same thing multiplied by um, the derivative of the power, so multiplied by 0 0.065. So I'll just write it as 0 0.065 times 450e to the power of 0 0.065t. That's the derivative nt. And then we just need to find the n, of t, n prime of 12. So n prime of 12 is equal to 0 0.065 times 450e to the power of 0 0.065 times 12. And into your calculator with that, and you should get 63.8. Now, what does that mean? The interpretation uh, in the context of the question, it means that the bacteria are increasing at a rate of 63.8 per hour at the 12 hour mark. Um, part D then, after K hours, the rate of increase of N of T is greater than 90 bacteria per hour. Find the least value of K where k is an element of the natural numbers. So we basically want the function with k to be greater than 90. So that's, uh, or the, the first derivative of the, of the function rather, to be greater than 90. So that's 0 0.065 times 450 e to the power of 0 0.065 k this time. We want that to be greater than 90. So we just need to go and solve this here. I'm going to divide across by this to get e to the power of 0 0.065 k is greater than 90 over 0 0.065 times 450. I don't need to worry about changing the sign because I know that that's a positive number. And then I can take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of this side is 0 0.065. 5k and then the natural log of the other side ln of 90 over 0 0.065 times 450 and then to get k k is going to be greater than all of this divided by 0 0.065 so it's ln of 90 over 0 0.065 times 450 and that's all over 0 0.065. And if you put that into your calculator, we get K must be greater than 17.29. Now, if K is a natural number, we need the least one that's greater than this. So K must be equal to 18, the first natural number bigger than 17.29. Part E, the number of bacteria in the early stages of a different colony of bacteria can be measured or approximated using this function, p of t is equal to 220e to the 0.17t, where p of t is the number of bacteria and t is measured in hours. Assume that both colonies start growing at the same time. Find the time to the nearest hour at which the number of bacteria in both colonies will be equal. 
So if we want both colonies equal, we just put the two functions equal to each other. So 220 e to the power of 0 0.17 t is equal to 450 e to the power of 0 0.0. 065t and we need to solve this for t. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 450 and then divide both sides by e to the power of 0.17t. That'll give me 220 over 450 on the left and on the right it will give me e to the power of 0.065t over e to the power of 0.17t. Um, the left hand side, I can just leave it as that fraction there. I don't need to do um, too much to it. Um, the right hand side then, so it's 220 over 450 is equal to, um, now we have laws of indices here, it's gonna be this one minus this one. So that will be e to the power of minus 0 0.105 t and then if i want to find t i'll take the natural log of both sides so ln of 220 over 450 is equal to minus 0 0.105 t and then to get t on its own i'll divide across by minus 0 0.105 so that's t is equal to ln of 220 over 450 all divided by minus 0 0.105 and that should be give you t is equal to 6.8 hours and correct to the nearest uh, hour is equal to approximately equal to 7 hours okay so that is question 9 um, if you have any questions just ask in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video